What we've just learned today in the house is something that shocks the safety and security that so many Canadians rely on. It is outrageous, it is shocking, and it is going to have deep and devastating impacts to Canadians. I want to also begin by acknowledging the family of Hardeep Singh Nijar, the family who's now learning that the loss of their loved one was a potentially directly related to Indian government involvement. I spoke with Hardeep Singh Nijar's son, and I could hear the pain of that loss in his, in his voice. And I can only imagine how much more painful it is going to be knowing of this potential connection. Mm. On a personal reflection, I want to share with you what this means to the Sikh community. I grew up hearing many stories that if you raise concerns about human rights violations in India, that you might be denied a visa. That if you went back to India, you could suffer violence, torture, and even death. I grew up hearing those stories. But to hear the Prime Minister of Canada corroborate a potential link between a murder of a Canadian citizen on Canadian soil by a foreign government is something I could never have imagined. To understand what that means to the community, this is a place that so many people around the world have sought as refuge. People have fled persecution in their home countries, where they were threatened by torture and violence and death to come to Canada as a beacon of safety, a place where you could be safe, free from violence, be able to speak your thoughts, speak your mind, and not worry if you would wake up dead the next day or someone you loved would be tortured or killed. That safety and security that so many Canadians feel has now been rocked. It has been shocked and it's been destabilized. I want to send a message directly to activists across our country who have fled persecution, who speak truth to power, knowing of the real dire consequences to themselves and potentially their family. I want to speak directly to people of Indian descent who have come to Canada who spoke justice and spoke truth to power, who challenged the oppressive practices of India, caste violence, violence against women, systemic abuse of minority communities, systemic abuse of the poor. I want to speak directly to those activists. Governments around the world are trying to silence you, the Indian government, and the Modi government specifically is attempting to silence you. But truth cannot be silenced. Justice cannot and will not be silenced. We know that the practice of the Indian government has been one of division, of violence, persecution, attacking those that are critical of the government. It is now an important time to send a clear message as a democratic country, as a country that respects the rule of law, what will be our response? I want people to know that as leader of the New Democratic Party, I will use every tool at my disposal to ensure that Canada uses every tool, every tool and every power of a democratic nation to bring those responsible to justice. We will ensure that no rock is unturned, that every possible link will be examined, that the public inquiry should also turn its eye to this with the full rigor of that public inquiry. We need to know the truth. We need to know all potential links, and anyone and everyone responsible should be brought to justice using the full power of a democratic nation. I call on our allies to condemn this violence, this direct violation of a sovereign nation's rights, to condemn this act in the harshest terms possible. This will require all democratic nations to come together to send a clear message about what this means, that a foreign nation kills a Canadian on Canadian soil. This is something that all democratic nations have to stand up and denounce clearly. Mm -hmm. And finally, I want to send a clear message to many people who are here learning of this and will be angry, are going to be afraid. And I understand why you would be angry and afraid. I call for everyone who is hearing this news now to come together, and not in anger, but in love for justice. 
There's a sick practice that the love of justice is what we should focus on, not the anger and the frustration and the fear. Focus on the love for justice, and I will do my part. We will do our part in this chamber to ensure that justice is served using every tool that a democratic nation can do. Punjabi de Vishma Ekarna Jona, K. Jo Apo Ajsonia, Sanusari no Pada Siga Shoti Hundenuke, Jera Hindustan de Hakumat, Bojulam Kardene, but Sanu Kadeni Lagda Siki, Etiaki, Kanaj, Etiaki, Sanu, Euja Katra Husagda. Masari no Ekarna Jona, K. Maite Hagaya, the Jinak Mera Takat Haga, Mahadungani, Chapta Justice in Saf Milua is Mamlevich, Mahatnani Haga, Japta Sarihi. ਜਿਹੜਾ ਵੀ ਕੋਈ ਲਿੰਕ ਹੋਵੇ ਉਹਦਾ ਪੂਰੀ ਖੋਜ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਵੇ ਤੇ ਜੋ ਨਿਆਂ ਆ ਜੋ ਜਸਟਿਸ ਆ ਜੋ ਇਨਸ